48 hours. I mean, you the numbers tell the tale right behind you. Uh, it, it really does. You know, it's hard to believe that yesterday, around this time yesterday, we were waking up to temperatures in the 50s. Right now, it is down to 7 degrees in Central Park. And to make matters worse, it's breezy, so it feels like 10 below. Check out these temperatures. This is some of the coldest air of the season. Actual temperatures down into the single digits. It's three degrees in Newburgh, six in Belmar, five degrees in Morristown, and two below in Monticello. So here's a look at those wind chill temperatures all across the area. Well below zero, 15 below in Newburgh, 18 below in Monticello, and 10 below in Morristown. It is really going to be a shock to the system as you step outside this morning. But on top of that, with wind chills this low, it could be dangerous. There's an increased threat for hyperthermia. That is why we actually have a wind chill advisory out for most of the tri-state area. So this is really the culprit. High winds still gusty up to 32 in Belmar and 28 in Islip. So we stay blustery all day. Check out high temperatures. We only reach a high of 19 degrees in the city. We'll see a mixture of sunshine and clouds and we'll continue to have wind chill numbers, real full numbers down below zero, also in the single digits throughout this afternoon. So not as cold tomorrow, we get up to 27 degrees. For details as we head into next week in just a few. Mike. Yay, rooting for 27 degrees. I know. That's, that's when you know something's up. Brittany, thank you. And right now we are dealing with the bitter cold, but also people across the tri-state trying to clean up from all of this. I mean, the flooding that really slammed the area. The freezing temperatures only making matters worse. As you heard Governor Hochul in the open there, the conditions on the roadways, treacherous in some spots. I went to news reporter Johnny Fernandez live in Queens with the rest of the cleanup. First of all, thank you for being out there this morning. Johnny, what's it like where you are this morning? Yeah, well, Mike, it is cold, and for many residents here in Howard Beach, they're trying to clean up after the storm flooded their neighborhood. Many residents here say that they haven't seen flooding this bad since Sandy, and they will be receiving help here at PS 207. That is where one of two service centers opened up for these residents. Now, take a look at this video. This is video from yesterday. Now, the cleanup process started just after 9 o'clock in the morning as many Howard Beach residents woke up to their neighborhoods being flooded. In this video, you can see that the future seawall piling swimming in the storm surge and the heavy equipment used to move them. Now another problem many residents face was trying to repair their damaged cars. The cars were ruined due to the salt water and rain and for many the storms also impacted their basements and this morning they're trying to clean up what they can. We lost uh, two cars uh, from Sandy and now these two again. We're down there with buckets and shock vacs and throwing water out the window. The sump pump's taking some of it. It's not taking all of it. Now, the other service center is going to be opened up over in Far Rockaway. Now, both service centers will be opening up at 10 o'clock this morning. Reporting in Howard.